Now for question number four um, from this P4, Pure Mathematics 4 International A-Level paper. Here we have a question about parametric equations. This figure one shows the sketch of the curve C with parametric equations. X equals root 3 sine 2t and Y equals 4 cosine squared t for values of t between 0 and pi inclusive. Um, and then it says show that dy dx equals k times root 3 tan 2t where k is a constant to be found. Okay, so now here we're given an equation in what's called parametric form. Parametric form means it's expressed with a third parameter, not, not just in terms of x and y, but in terms of another parameter, in this case that's t. And we have to differentiate this, find the gradient function for this. Okay, so this is a pretty simple thing that we've got to do. It's using what's called the chain rule. Okay, the chain rule. And this is how you go about doing it. Well, our objective is to find dy dx. Okay, but we don't have y in terms of x. Okay, and for us to make y in terms of x, um, you know, it's more difficult than to actually differentiate this in using the chain rule. So what we're going to do is we're going to write that dy dx is in terms of it's or equal to dy dt, which we can find quite easily, times dt dx, which is the reciprocal of dx dt, which again we can find quite easily. That is going to give us dy dx because dy dt times dt dt dx will leave us with dy dx. So our objective now is to find what d, um, dx dt is and what dy dt is. So dx dt. Okay, now we know x is equal to, let me just write the thing out properly first. So we know x is equal to root 3 times sine 2t. So dx dt, okay, now when you differentiate sine of something, you end up with the cosine of the same thing. So you've got root 3 sine 2t will give us root 3 times the cosine of 2t. However, there's something inside the function, which is a 2t. We have to differentiate that function inside the function. So we've got to differentiate 2t with respect to t, which gives us 2. So it's going to be 2 times root 3 cosine 2t. That's the differential of, of x. And for the differential of y, well, we know y is equal to 4 times cosine squared t. Now, I'm going to write that as 4 times the cosine of t squared. It's the same thing. This and this are the same. Okay, and now here what we we'll have, when I differentiate it, what you have basically is a bracket, something to the power of something, which differentiates by multiplying by the power and then taking one from the power. So 2 times 4, which is 8. Differential of cosine of t is minus sine t. And then you've got to multiply that by the differential of what's inside the function. Sorry, silly me. That's a, that's a mistake. 2 times 4 is 8, all right, and you write it as it is. So basically, you differentiate this as you multiply by the power, and then you take 1 from the power. So it's 8 times the cosine of t to the power of 1. Okay, that's how you differentiate that. Then you multiply by the differential of what's inside the function, which is negative sine t. So you differentiate this by multiplying by the power and taking 1 from the power, and leaving it exactly as it is inside the bracket. Then multiply by the differential of what's inside the function, and that gives us dy dt. Sorry, what am I doing? That's dy dt, not dy dx. dy dt. So dy dt, therefore, if you just uh, simplify that, is going to be minus 8 sine t cosine t. Now I can put them together, and I can say dy dx is equal to dy dt, which is this minus 8 sine t cosine t okay times 1 over basically dx dt dx because this is dx dt we need the reciprocal which is 1 over that so it's the same as basically dividing it by 2 root 3 cosine of 2t now the 2 and the 8 cancel leaving you with a minus 4 so you've got minus 4 sine t cosine t over root 3 cosine 2t. Now, our answer has to be manipulated until we end up with the tangent of 2t. 
Okay, so we end up with a double angle, tan of 2t. So how is that going to happen? Well, we should know that the sine of an angle divided by the cosine of the very same angle gives us the tangent of that same angle. So I can see that if I want to end up with the tan of 2t, this has to become something with the 2t. And we remember uh, one of our formulae, the sine of 2a is it's one of our identities is equal to the 2 times sine a cosine a. Okay, so that will help us here. So if I just rearrange this a bit, okay, I can say that this is the same as minus, if I can, if, if we can leave a 2 there, I have minus 2 times, I'll write this as 2 sine t cosine t. Okay, so I've, I've left myself with a 2 sine t cosine t, which I can then replace with sine 2t over root 3 times cosine of 2t. So that will give me minus 2 times the sine of 2t. Oops. Starting to lag again. Minus 2 times the sine of 2t over root 3 times the cosine of 2t. Now the sine of 2t over the cosine of 2t will give me the tan of 2t. So root minus 2 over root 3 times the tan of 2t. Now let's see how they want us to express our answer exactly. I guess, yeah, they want to, okay, they want to have the denominator rationalized. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by root 3 over root 3. I'm going to multiply, sorry, this fraction by root 3 over root 3. And that should be enough to help us express it in the form required. That's going to give me, so that you're going to have minus 2 times root 3 over 3 times the tan of 2t. So our k is going to be minus 2 root 3. Minus 2 over 3. Minus 2 over 3. Okay, k root 3, yeah. So minus 2 over 3 is our k. Okay, so you're going to have k root 3 times tan 2t. That's the form we want, and that's the value of our k. So that's how you differentiate that function. This is dy dx, which is our gradient function, which I think we need in part b, because part b says... Find an equation of the tangent to c at the point where t equals root 3. Uh, sorry, equals pi over 3. Okay, that's our gradient function. Now, to find the equation of a tangent, a tangent is a straight line which just brushes the curve. All right, so it has the same gradient of the curve at the point where the tangent is. So we need to find um, the point where t equals pi over 3. We need to find its coordinates. Okay, because to, to find the equation of a, a line, we need two things. We need the gradient and we need a point on the line. Okay, so let's first of all find the point on the line. So we can find the x coordinates of the point on the line by substituting t equals pi over 3 into this equation. So you have root 3 times the sine of 2 pi over 3. That's going to give me x. Now the sine of 2 pi over 3 gives us the same value as the sine of pi over 3. And the sine of pi over 3 is uh, root 3 over 2. So it's root 3 times root 3 over 2, which gives me 3 over 2. Okay, you can work that out your calculator if you're not sure. It's going to open. Okay, so we can just be sure of that, we're going to have um, root 3 times the sine of 2 pi over 3. So make sure it's in radian mode. So we can do this. Angle unit, radian. Okay, so we're going to have root 3 times the sine of 2 pi over 3. Okay, that gives you 3 over 2. That's right. Okay, just to be sure. 
And then it says we got of, of course we've got to find the y coordinate. Whoops. We've got to find the y coordinate. Let me fix that. Okay, sorry. So we've got to find the y coordinate. So we know that y is equal to four times the cosine of uh, pi over three squared. Now the cosine of pi over three is a half. Okay, the cosine of pi over three is a half. So that's cosine of 60. So you're gonna have four times one over two squared, which is four times a quarter, which is one. Okay, so the coordinates of the point where t equals pi over three is three over two and one. Now we need to find the gradient of the tangent at that point. Okay, the gradient of the tangent is going to be given by substituting t equals pi over 3 inside this equation. So that's the gradient of the tangent is going to be given by minus 2 times root 3 over 3 times the tan of 2 pi over 3. Just substitute pi over 3 inside the gradient function. Okay, now the tangent of 2 pi over 3 is going to be, I think it's going to be a negative value, isn't it? Let's see, tangent of 2 pi over 3. Yeah, negative root 3. So we're going to have negative root 3 times um, minus 2 root 3 over 3. And that gives you 2. Okay, 2. The gradient is going to be 2. So that's the gradient of the tangent. That's fine. So now we know the gradient of the tangent is equal to 2. So now we can use our equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we got y minus the y coordinate, which is 1, equals a gradient, which is 2, times x minus 3 over 2. Um, we want it in the form y equals ax plus b. Okay, so um, basically we want to make y the subject of this. So let's just simplify that side first. That's going to be 2x minus 3. Okay, y minus 1 equals 2x minus 3, because the 2 will cancel. So y is going to be 2x minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 2. And there we have the equation of the tangent. And that's the answer to part B, and that's the answer to this question. I hope that was clear.